Hi everybody, this is Amanda. I wanted to do a quick demonstration of how to set up your free WWW space at NC State and also show you how to FTP your web files to your free hosting space. So this is the page you want to go to first. Um, it's where you would go to set up your space. Everybody has free space, students, faculty, and staff at the university, but until you set it up you can't actually use it. So the link off of our course website will take you to this page and then where you want to go is to the www setup link. But then once you finish your website, how do you actually get it into your space? So over here is my Dreamweaver folder, the same folder we used in the tutorial. And here is our example website right here. These are again all of those HTML pages, the images folder, and our CSS file. And I'll just drag that index page real quick into a browser so we can take a, a look at that. This again is the same content that you could download off of uh, our course website. So there's the page and again you can click through the various pages and see that it takes you to uh, the different links. But you can look up here in the web address. This is just going to file users Amanda Robertson. It's It's got an address that's showing it's it's on my computer, my personal computer, and we want to see it in my personal uh, AFS www space. So how do we do that? I'm going to move this out of the way over here. What I've done is I've downloaded, uh, normally I use this application called Transmit, and I'll open that right now. But as you noted on our course website, there are a couple of other options. FileZilla is another one, and Fetch is another one. If you do a search, just do a, a quick Google search for Fetch or FileZilla. You can pull those up in a web browser and download those. Um, Fetch, I don't believe it has a free option anymore. You can have a 15-day trial, which, which is what I've downloaded here for demonstration purposes. FileZilla is free. Um, it's just a matter of... Um, I guess just user preference, but they all function very much the same, which is why I wanted to show you how these work. My preference is Transmit, but again, uh, this one is not a free free uh, application, but it's just a preference, and, and I use this a lot, so it was worth it to me to, to purchase this. So I'm going to go over here. Favorites are just websites that you might FTP to a lot, so I've got a whole bunch of those in there. Um, but I'm going to go over to connect because this is what we're going to do in order to access our server. So if you were to pull up the course website, this information that you would plug into this space is up there as well. But take note here, this is going to be the same for everyone to access our www space at NC State. You're going to type in ftp.ncsu.edu. So that's the server that we're trying to access. We want to access NC State server. That's where we're going to put our files. Okay. From there, you want to type your username and password. And this, again, is your Unity ID and your Unity password. So mine is ATRobert, and then my Unity password. Now, at NC State, we have a secure FTP protocol. So what we want to do is pick SFTP. If you forget this, it won't access uh, the server space. It'll give you some errors. So if you're getting errors, just double check and make sure you did pick SFTP. Not all sites use SFTP. Um, in fact, NC State's server of all the websites that I access uh, regularly or historically, none of them have ever used SFTP before. So um, this is a rarity and something you probably won't run into very much right now anyway, although you may more so in the future. So once I connect here, you'll see it will retrieve my files and I might have a few more files in here than what you all have um, but that's just because I've been working in NC State for many many years uh, in many different capacities but what you want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom because this is going to view alphabetically and you'll see there's my www folder this is where we want to put our files okay all of the files over here in the website folder all of these will go in here and I've set mine so that you'll see pretty much um, in my folder what you will see in your folder. You'll see just an index page and this index page has some just that basic content that says the file has been set up but that there's really nothing here yet. It's under construction generally is what that says. So what you want to do is drag your website files into this space. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm just going to go in here and click and drag up and select all of these files over in my website folder, and I'm going to drag them in here. And what it's going to do, it's going to copy all of those files into this space, and then it's going to replace, because I want it to replace, that index page. Okay, so there, there they all are, and then what happens 
is if we go to www.ncsu.edu slash tilde A.T. Robert, we can see here's the page that we looked at a minute ago, except now it's on the web. Okay, so let's see what this looks like and how this compares in a different application. And what I want to demonstrate is because sometimes these can look pretty different, um, but really the conventions are very much the same across all of these applications. So let's open up FileZilla. Um, I think by comparison it's quite a bit different from uh, Transmit. When you open up FileZilla, the first thing you want to do is go up to File and go into your Site Manager. And we're going to create a new site. And we'll name this NC State. Okay. And then, again, same information, ftp.ncsu.edu. We want to choose SFTP. We want, let's put this to normal, and we'll just say uh, our username, ATRobert, and our password. So I'll select this out of here. So again, that's the same information we used just a minute ago. Uh, and transmit same exact stuff just remembering again to choose SFTP and then we're gonna say connect now these over here these are the files that are on my desktop alright and over here at the bottom it's connecting okay so here is my FTP, FTP space the same as what we have over here in transmit but now we're looking at those files in FileZilla okay you can go down here and scrub around and we want to look until we see the www space. So what you might do is organize this by file name if you want. Um, this is organized right now by file type. But if I click into my www folder over here, you're going to see that the same information is inside my www folder in FileZilla as was in Transmit. So those images are exactly the same right now. Okay. So what I like to do is work directly from um, my desktop and over here again is the the website that we were working on so what I would do here is for instance I would drag let's say we've made updates to this instructor.html page and we want to FTP that over here in FileZilla I would instead drag that folder directly into the space just like we did in uh, transmit and replace the one that's in here and it's going to ask you do you want to overwrite this or how do you want me to handle it and I would just say let's overwrite um, and the last one we've got over here is fetch and again this one is a 15-day trial so I'm just going to say not yet and we can open this one um, I think this one is a little bit easier to use than FileZilla works very similar to um, transmit you just type in FTP .ncsu.edu, your Unity ID and password. And then it's trying to pull that because it knows what that is on my computer. And we'll make sure. And then make sure again that this is set to SFTP and you can click connect. And this will see my little doggy running and it'll take us into that same space and we can scrub all the way down and find our www folder and again inside there same exact files that you see in the transmit so okay hope that was helpful thanks